Facing yourself in front of the mirror, what do you see? A reflection, not of yourself, but of someone who clearly belongs to this earth. For the longest time, we have referred nature as our mother, the one who nurtures and protects, the one who provides and feeds. You've grown to provide for yourself and be independent, building everything you need, and forgot to take care about her. As you reflect, you realize you also have the power to revert, the power to give back, to make up to Mother Earth. It all started with one cause, a cause that brought together the Her Planet Earth Team 2018. And what brought them all together in the first place, apart from their adventurous spirit and a yearning to push boundaries, is a genuine desire to empower underprivileged women and to protect the beautiful planet. So one of the things that we, we love to do uh, with Her Planet Earth is, is to take women outside of their comfort zone, out of their regular daily lives, and take them on you know, really life-changing expeditions. You know, we took a group of 10 women, quite diverse, uh, most of them were from Singapore, but we had one from Manila, one from Macau, one from the UK. And you know, we took them on a trip that was dependent on the weather, that was like nothing they'd ever done before, on a boat that you know, they've never uh, seen uh, before, a very unique uh, vessel. The trip was very special because the team was exploring the islands with a replica of a parao, a revival of an almost forgotten Filipino maritime culture dating back more than a thousand years. This year, the expedition was in support of the Tao Kalai Foundation, who have projects for the advancement of women, children's education, organic farming, and local traditional crafts for this region of Palawan. I chose Karan on this trip across the islands of Palawan because this is something I've been wanting to do for many years. I've been researching this trip for about a year. I had heard about Tao expeditions from a couple of friends and who had said many good things about it. So I thought this was a perfect adventure. Tao Kalai Foundation is deeply rooted on the communities surrounding the islands across El Nido to Coron. Part of the work we do is also trying to understand what different foundations and charities do in needs, trying to understand what are some of the projects on their radar and how we can support either by raising awareness or funds depending on the needs um, that they have. It's a more or less community-based style. Nagbibigay din kami ng mga, for example, dala ng guests na solar panels or mga gamot tungkol sa family planning, pangkalusugan, eskwelahan. So yun yung mga naibibigay namin sa mga tao na nakatira dito sa mga isla na dinadaan na namin. When we were traveling through the islands, every time we could, we reached out to women's groups um, to find out you know, how they live, what are some of the issues they face. On our team, we also had um, one of the teammates is, uh, representing a UK charity called Binti. And so we were able to distribute uh, sanitary pads um, that are washable and good for the environment. And so that was interesting as well to explain that to the, to the ladies that we met. The team visited the largest space camp, also known as a tile farm. This is where they train their crew to be good stewards of the environment. We care deeply about what's happening to the oceans, the fact that there's overfishing as well, and the foundation that we visited offered a chance to teach a lot of the local people in the islands how to develop organic gardens, you know, and how to farm sustainably, and better understand that you can't, for example, slash and burn crops because then it affects your water supply in the long term and so many other great things that, that they do in the islands. Working with women, helping their livelihood, training them to either work in organic farms or through weaving or making organic products like soap and shampoo that they can sell to the tourists. That helps the environment as well as helping their livelihood. So it was a perfect combination for us to take the team on such an expedition. The farm has their very own organic garden where they grow and harvest their crops and serve it to guests with a farm-to-table concept. You know, it was about really stepping out of our comfort zone, about finding out what was at the next stop or base camp, living in very kind of remote islands, in very simple huts, with no electricity, meeting the locals, finding out how we could help with the crew uh, at different points, you know, help cook our own meals uh, whenever possible. I think in that sense, 
it was really back to nature, back to the roots, uh, and you know, appreciating the beauty of Mother Nature as well. And you come back from a trip like that, hopefully, they're revitalized and more dedicated to trying to protect our environment and to support other women.